And we're live. Thank you so much for uh, joining us uh, on this session of the Global Prayer Project. Uh, this is uh, becoming very, very fun. Uh, we're all getting a lot of uh, feedback. Uh, let me talk a little bit about the goals for this uh, uh, in, uh, really intuitively driven uh, uh, and intention-based uh, global prayer project. Um, mainly, uh, we know that uh, uh, thanks to the human potential movement, all the books, all the scholarship, uh, all the discussion for a hundred years, that spiritual reality is real. And then I know that we struggle, all of us, with a kind of media-driven assumption that we live in a materialistic world that's always been here and uh, everything's explained and ordinary and uh, there are surprises, but uh, we just handle it as part of this secular uh, reality we're in. Well, we have to break out of that and we are breaking out of that because, you know, we, we live really in a spiritual world. Uh, and what that means is it's nothing uh, so mystical that it's uh, uh, uncomprehensible. Uh, what the, the uh, human potential movement has given us is that we uh, have figured out the working parts of the spiritual world. And the Celestine Insights, uh, all through all the books, uh, the new book that I'm working on now, uh, will uh, are all... Uh, devoted to making that plain. And the key concept is the life is not supposed to be this hard. There's an operating system. There are a set of alignments that when we change our habits and get in alignment with the true spiritual design, what happens is that, uh, again, life gets easier because we're helped in life. We have synchronistic uh, help that takes us down the road to a successful uh, career, uh, where we want to work, uh, how we can make a difference in the world, how to keep our inspiration um, levels high. So the basis of the Global Prayer Project is to move into that alignment so that we're spiritually connected and strong. Uh, so we've been talking about it. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is our uh, fourth one, and we have uh, uh, really started with the idea of spirit, uh, inspiration energy. Uh, we uh, have talked about that as a, a barometer. Uh, we talked about synchronicity as a kind of barometer, kind of a measure of how connected we are spiritually. Uh, uh, and, and remember, this is, this is understandable. All the insights are uh, really uh, moving into a, 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 where there are abilities. And these abilities to stay in alignment is the name of the game right now. So we're coming back to the Global Prayer Project because uh, one, we can talk about that. We can, we can expand this consensus about how to live uh, in a spiritually uh, uh, connected way. Uh, so, and then how to, how to uh, push it forward in the world, how to, how to share it. Uh, remember that um, Dr. Larry Dossi, his last book, One Mind, we share minds, what we think. Uh, as we walk, that, as we go down the road, or, or in, on a freeway, what we're thinking is contagious to all the other people around. The level of faith we have, the level of uh, love-based centeredness that we have—that's all contagious. That's that's what creates the idea that if a certain number of people move into this spiritually connected life, what happens is that it kind of uh, the, it kind of uh, mushrooms through the whole group mind so that there's the, the critical mass at that point has happened so that people will become uh, just automatically sort of opened up into the spiritual connected world that we're talking about. 
So that's the progress of humanity. <laughs> you know, if you want to think, what can I do for humanity? There's nothing greater than this. Find a way, learn it, find the experiences that we're talking about that puts us into alignment with the design. And the design is for us to have a miracle like life, right? There are always challenges, but the idea is to get where we can come back to this flow of synchronistic help on the way to our mission in life, right? So this is not uh, meant to be uh, spy, uh, pie in the sky. You know, this is not uh, just talk. Uh, because we're at the level now where we're actually changing our consciousness in order to get into this alignment means that, that we're all making this kind of contribution to this eventual full critical mass. And, uh, you know, if you, if you read Revelation in the Bible, maybe that's the third grade version of what's happening. But all of us into it that, you know, we're meant to live in a more conscious way, in a conscious life. But there's a, there's a, great, um, a great watershed moment, a break, great breakthrough moment that all of us have. Uh, and that uh, happens with self-awareness. So uh, a lot of the new book is about the breakthrough moments, the breakthrough uh, experience. But that has to be actually... Uh, moved through by each of us as individuals. Now, if people are holding the energy for it, is if you get it reinforced in a group, uh, it's it's easier. But what happens is that it's a walk, it's a moment when you walk through a, a kind of uh, plane, right? And that that plane doesn't feel any different other than we start to keep our connection all the time. And the basic way that we make that breakthrough is through self-awareness. Now, self-awareness is uh, something that's run around, you know, the whole, the whole uh, 80s and 90s, 70s really, uh, were about how do we get conscious? You know, what's, what are the steps? It begins with self-awareness. Now, <clears throat> related to the Celestine prophecy work, uh, this self-awareness allows us to catch ourselves in ego, in ego defense. Because in this material world, uh, you know, it's, it's riddled with insecurities. You know, you have to find out how to make a living. You have to, you know, you have to try to stay honorable and and how you get money from other people, uh, how you work your jobs. And uh, I have to say that uh, it's easier now to, uh, to, to, to look at our own defenses, look at the way we manipulate, ma manipulate uh, other people, uh, because out in the world, there's this dark side energy that is more pronounced than ever before. Now, don't get me wrong. The spiritual side, the light side, the people who are moving into consciousness is, is, is tremendously larger. But what's happening on the dark side, while they're uh, getting smaller, they're also getting darker. <laughs> and uh, again, that's a phenomenon predicted uh, in many uh, texts, uh, spiritual texts around the world. Uh, you know, you, 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 in the Bible, uh, for instance, there's the, 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 the concept of, uh, the, the devil being loosed in the world, right? Now, without understanding that this is, uh, symbolic, uh, uh, that, you know, this dark side is, it, it can be described as the, most insecure side, the people that live so in a materialistic uh, bubble that they really can't imagine anything spiritual. They can't, it's a de facto uh, uh, 
non-event. Spirituality is all in the head, they say. You know, uh, what's real is a kind of largeness of the ego in the world. Now, they may not call it the ego, but they would say largeness of power because uh, the dark side, of course, are the people that are most secure and what insecure people do. They have to gain energy from dominating other other people. That's just the, the solution, the only solution within a totally material world. You have to dominate. And you also have to have uh, power from finances, money. But because of that really does occur insecurity, it's, there's never enough power and there's never enough money. So when you, when you look at people who seem to be psychopaths, that seem to be able to lie with, a, with a great ease and, and even with uh, a kind of uh, uh, self-congratulation, uh, um, you know, when you see that, you know, it's because it's, it's a way to pretend that one is secure. It never lasts as, as control dramas uh, uh, do uh, 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 or want to do, uh, they fall. But what I'm describing, though, is, is the, uh, any control uh, manipulations uh, of other people to win power or uh, attention from them. Uh, so that's the dark side. And our dark side has always been in this world. You know, the great mystics say, well, that's, uh, that's the dark that we have to choose not to be in. We have to follow uh, a kind of the, you know, the spiritual landmarks through history and move into this connection with what we would call, uh, and all have always called, uh, you know, the the love based God. Uh, of course, this is uh, not a little man in the sky, you know, uh, with a beard. You know, this is a force in that we can tune into, uh, and that's that's why it's always been a mystery. What is this force? Well, this force is love based, right? It's love based and, and because that's the emotion that we want. We don't want the, f the fear and the anger and the hurt and the jealousy and all the lower emotions. You know, that's what knocks us back and, and makes us go into ego and fence, right? Because we get so insecure, we have all these emotions and, uh, you know, we're, we're breaking through though and with the idea that that's, that's something to move past, not to, uh, to, to, to fear or not to, uh, you know, to, to defend ourselves against going into, you know. We have to move into the connection, spiritual connection, that the Celsian books are all about, which uh, moves us past the lower emotions into what I like to call agape and love-based uh, emotions. And that's a kind of... Uh, uh, that's the kind of meditation we do that we share with the world. Being in that place, not in the dark side of fear and, and coping with the fear in crazy ways, but being moving into the light because the light's there. And there's never, I mean, this is, this is a time when, when we know the most about how to make this journey than ever before, thanks to the human potential movement. So, I'd like to just say that that when when we say why a global prayer project, it's because the wider we share this spiritual connection and, and the, the the kind of ins inspiration that comes with it, right? The better. The only place, though, to be very sensitive about is when you slip over into the controlling side, into these manipulations that we learn in childhood, right? To defend ourselves. Uh, the new book has uh, a lot of uh, insight into 
uh, the Enneagram is a way to really be uh, aware of the kind of control dramas that we each have. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, the four main control dramas are, are kind of categories, but there are really more like nine control dramas. And the Enneagram information really does help with that. So that'll be in the new book. Uh, 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 in the in the South Sea Process community, though, we are talking about uh, the Enneagram now. Uh, in, in my course, uh, it, it, moving through each of these alignments, uh, taking them seriously, uh, you know, the, the one alignment that moves through control dramas, uh, you know, we're talking about uh, what's 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 the nine, you know. Uh, control dramas that, that exist that can be identified. So again, it all goes back though in the service of the self-awareness because what we all have to do is catch ourselves going into defensiveness, right? Now, now here's the here's the the difference. Okay, when we go into defensiveness, maybe someone uh, challenges us, so, uh, puts us down, or or overtly tries to manipulate us. And if we, but if we, if we go into, into defensiveness in which we uh, try to manipulate them back and win, uh, that's the dark side because that's, that's that same uh, kind of take control of the world and manipulate for power and money that operates there, right? What's the, what's the opposite of that? What's the connected opposite of that? It's to give energy. Someone's, someone is putting you down, you're invulnerable because you have this energy flowing through you out into the world all the time. And we've talked about that, the, uh, essentially what we do in the, in the, uh, the intention prayer uh, uh, expansion. Uh, meditative expansion that we we practice here on the Global Prayer Project. Uh, it it's the opposite of taking, manipulating, is giving. And if we catch ourselves in self awareness, that we check, you know, we're up, we're watching ourselves like, uh, uh, you know, like uh, a movie. Uh, and we see that we're going into this defensiveness, then that's, that's it's a point of consciousness to be able to go, whoa, look at what I'm at, the way I'm behaving. That's that's a control drama, you know? And then moving, remembering to go back to connection so that you have this, this agape love-based uh, emotional solidity, you know, the greatest kind of uh, strength comes in. Uh, and you can go back to giving and, and, and go back to not being able to be insulted, right? Or put down, you know, realizing what that is and giving more energy in response and more love-based uh, agape uh, energy out. So, you know, that's what we're doing here. And so the more people that we can get into this space, where we recognize the dark side, yes, they're trying to control more and more and more. Uh, you know, uh, even freedom of speech is at at play now. Uh, but it, the more they manipulate and lie, the more they're exposed, and that's what's really happening. You know, the the people that uh, are trying to control the world now as never before. They're really exposing themselves as manipulators and liars, and that that is what needs to happen now, because it it uh, it encourages us to choose. Right? You want to be on that side? Yeah, you could get in the money train. You know, you can get set up with a corporate uh, sponsorship of whatever you're doing. But do you want that? Is that the energy you want to uh, stay in, or do you want to flip? over into the light side and and have a, a you know, love-based creative uh, breakthrough in, with self-awareness. Catch yourself enough times, you're able to stay connected. And of course, meditation is, is an important part. And there's more meditation going on in the world than ever before, right? 
So that's why the consciousness feels like it's 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 opening up. And I think there's a kind of breakout energy that's uh, servicing now. We we realize how much uh, is lies in the world uh, about what we can't do and, and what we shouldn't do. And 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 there's a kind of breakthrough moment where we're saying we're we're breaking through our creativity, a love-based heightened creativity where magical synchronicities happen to open doors for us. You know, the thing about uh, the dark side is they don't believe in spirituality, all right? Uh, they believe in a kind of uh, cultish uh, power, but not real spirituality. You know, they don't, they don't think it exists. Uh, and what, what we have to do, of course, is prove it to ourselves and come back to it every time. And, and again, if we can, uh, the more people we can get in uh, to uh, multiply this energy that we're talking about sending out into the world, we're sharing something that's an octave above what the dark side wants to present as reality. It's an octave above. It's full of miracles. It's the easy way through life, not the hard way. Uh, so uh, just remember, if synchronicity exists, if these mysterious uh, coincidences happen that solve a problem, that uh, open up an opportunity that feels like an inspired moment in your life, uh, going toward your, your dream mission, uh, what that is is, again, the, the evidence, right? that the light side has more potential. It's not a matter of believing in God or not. You know, that's, that's well, that's rudimentary, right? That's the first level. But it's stepping into the promises of this spiritual world that we find ourselves in. And, and again, never been more evidence that uh, this, you know, we can get more and more connected and in alignment with how the world's really designed from a spiritual point of view. So with that said, uh, I think that, uh, uh, and if you'll, you'll just, uh, you know, send these videos and, you know, these, the same meditation operates if it's listened to uh, tomorrow, you know, that same uh, wide, widespread effect happens. So help us, help us spread. Uh, if you believe in this, if you believe that this is a secret to progress in the world, real progress in the world, if, if this is a way to be most protected, uh, this 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 vision of the future, right? That that the future is uh, is is full of more and more people joint, moving from the dark side into this light, into the evidence for this different kind of spiritually based life. Uh, if, you know, if, if, if that's our vision, then it has great, great power. And it, it's, it's never been clear which side you're on, <laughs> you know, uh, because the more conscious it's, the more we can tell when people are lying to us, when they're manipulating us. Uh, you know, these big corporate entities that have, have organized the dark side, right? It's psycho psychopathic, right? This is what it feels like. But they've organized it. So they think they're on the verge of completely taking the world. And what's what's happening is just the opposite. Uh, because if we hold the timeline that where we're uh, expanding more and more and more and, and, and people at the fringes of the dark side come begin to come over into the light side. Why? Because you can prove it to yourself. It works. Um, then, uh, you know, we have, we have contributed uh, to that movement. And again, there's just there's this more meditation uh, happening out there. Uh, we, uh, to talk just a minute about the type of meditation that I, I truly believe uh, works best is this heart-based agape love, right? Because, you know, uh, uh, most meditations are, are trying to calm the mind. And uh, we also, though, have to calm 
of the heart. And that means that we're all have, we all have problem normal emotions, right? Sometimes we think, well, we're the only one that's fighting this, ang these anger outbursts, or we're the only one that can't get over hurt that another person has done, or uh, has fear, normal fear, too much at the time. You know, we, we think, well, look how everybody seems to be okay, but we feel in this tug of war with these emotions. Well, the cure is healing the heart, letting go of the emotional chatter that bothers us, right? Getting more and more connected with this agape, love, solid base, opening to the rest of our spiritual uh, selves. We open up to our intuitive intelligence. And that's what's important. We'll talk about that next time more. But for now, let's just remember that what we're doing is, is moving into the space, this, this, this agape love-based consciousness, and then we're intending that it moves into the world to uplift others into this experience. So again, Thank you for participating, and let's go into the uh, into the meditation, into the prayer meditation. So, for all of you, and don't if you're driving or otherwise need to be attentive to something, don't uh, don't go into this meditation. Just wait till later. Uh, you want to be safe uh, above all. Uh, but let's just <clears throat> if you're if you're free to, to go within, that's, that's what we want to do right now. So let's just take a couple of deep breaths. And remember, we want to feel this spiritual connection. So this is a good, because there's so many of us doing it, we can definitely, uh, well, it definitely makes it easier, right? So this is a great place to practice staying in this connected spiritual connection. So let's just, again, take a few breaths. Let's be centered within ourselves. Let's just let's just make sure we are aware of any any thoughts you know the thoughts i'm talking about i don't have time to do this i don't uh, uh you know i've never had i've always had trouble with meditations it scares me or something you know any of that i can't you know i've got should be working should be calling somebody else just give yourself a few moments like this and just let those thoughts Go. Whenever they pop up, you realize they have swept you away from your uh, focus on your, uh, your solar plexus, your heart area. Let's just uh, let them go. Let all the, every, every thought go. And just kind of feel this connection in our hearts. What we want to experience is a kind of heart opening where we feel agape love. Now, wherever, you're, wherever you've been in your life that, that's kept you from love, you feel, Wherever you've been, where love has turned on you, you feel. Just go back to the your earliest memory of love. You know that 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 sort of innocent love in childhood for your parents or the important people in your life. Just let yourself feel that love, the love that you you spontaneously had for your first pet, maybe.
your first friends in childhood. Maybe it's that blush of romantic love, the first crush of child of, of adolescence for another person. Still, what you want to feel is love. Again, because this is your your spiritual most centering emotion. You're meant for emotion. The emotion that opens up and forever acts as a place that you can come to. No matter what lower emotion pops up, you can visualize it hitting this solid base of love and falling away. So that so that what we want to do is just feel this love as a state of as a state of heart. You know, it's a state. It doesn't have an object. Many people talk about the love of God, of this great creative force that we belong to. But we want it to be a state of love, a connection that is solid within us. Again, it's our most energized, creative state not racked from the lower emotions, but it has to be practiced. So let's just feel it, a state. Feel that love as a state of an emotion that stays with you always, a key emotion. If any thoughts of the hurts that come, that have happened, Just let it go and return to love. If it's anger outbursts you sometimes grapple with, let that go and return to love. Or if it's fears, fears of the unknown, fears of the... uh, brought about by the uncertainty, uncertainty of the world. Come back to love. Back to the state of love. And any random thoughts we're letting go of. But we do want to pay attention to to what comes from this love. And that is inspiration energy. It's a it's the feeling of being inspired to do something. That's part of this heart opening, but it's also responds to situations in our lives. So we seem to be sometimes more inspired than other times. Let's just let all of that inspiration energy come in and and with it, a view of the future that you might have for yourself. Move into that. What is that vision? Let that come in, stay though in love, stay based. Don't get distracted by other thoughts, which you should do tomorrow about it. Nothing, just envision yourself in the future. Now I want you to come also uh, into a place where you can broaden that to, to contain everyone in the world and and what's this love-based future for them 
how would the world change? What if everybody was giving energy and synchronicity to everybody else? What if we stayed inspired so that our dreams come forth every day we move through toward them, trusting that kind of synchronistic flow in our lives? Now let's share this place with the rest of the world. Let's just see wherever we are around the world. Let's just see this, this pooled energy that we have, this consciousness inspired for a future of, of uh, continued uh, perfection and progress, love-based. Let's just see it going out of the walls of our dwelling, wherever we are, into the neighborhood, touching every house, every person, every business, maybe moving into the cities around us, every place where there's, uh, there's, there's lies and corruption and manipulation where people feel they have to take to live. And let's just, let's just for a moment see them tuning into their own heart space and their own level of inspiration and the, their own dreams that can pop open in their minds. Let's just see that happening. And then through all the cities around us to the edge of our, uh, our province or state and then all in all the way to the through the borders of our individual countries until we can wrap this consciousness this love-based heart-opened positive futured consciousness all the way around the, the world Let's see the, 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 uh, everyone being affected by it, uplifted, realizing that there is a light side. There is a spiritual connection in this world, that it was designed for this, not for competition and control and manipulation. See everyone opening to their own, again, inspiration, their own connection, opening of the heart. Let's see it flowing into every corporation, every uh, office of the board of directors uh, into actual implementation and the creation of products, the creation of health, um, procedures. See it moving past doing harm to to a kind of heart-based healing that can spread through the world. Let's just be in this, this glow sweeping around the world. And all this inspiration and all this energy let your dreams come in, all your individual dreams. See that happen with anybody we're touching out there in the world as well. What do we want our stories to be? What, what, we, what kind of help can we move into with this kind of inspired work? 
what area of the life do we area of life do we want to move out of control and and manipulation into a kind of advanced progress i see it going through every institution medicine teaching government every single business is, that's creating a product. How can that product be uh, better and uplift and act as a gift to other people? This would be the great transformation of the economy on the planet. From lack base to dream based let's in this vision let's see how each of us can be self-aware move quickly out of control dramas old habits and be an energy giver meaning have a field that goes around that is set to give and uplift, that inspire, that goes into any uh, building or room first ahead of you. So that when you walk in, you're filled, you're filled with energy that goes out from you into the world. It's the secret of, trans, of uh, charisma. It's the secret of being fearless in your interactions with others. Know that you can get, get on a forum and speak to a million people about what your truth is, what you're sharing within some institution of the world as the next great step of free creation. Let's just, let's just dream big. And again, it's heart opened energy flowing out into the world with that prayer intention that this happen, that more and more people get into their spiritual and powerful spiritual connection, their most influential, uplifting spiritual connection. We were born for this. Every human being was born for this. We all came here knowing that this is the great promise of this dimension. That level of inspiration and creativity that makes things better. And now let's, let's set this level of inspiration energy out there free from many of those who try to control or manipulate toward the dark. Breaking free fully to our greatest creativity and spiritual uh, dialogue with each other. Let's just hold all that and set it. It's there. It can stay out there reverberating even as we go to other tasks in our life. Hold it one more minute. Now let's, let's just come back to our, our individual places where we are. Take a couple of breaths. And then let's rise and um, come back to each other. <laughs> so that was fun, right? Um, 
that's the power of giving and um, and the the sort of wholeness that comes with giving. Um, uh, you know, remember your dream. Uh, remember your dream, your breakout moment. Uh, we can uh, we can all uh, reach that level of inspiration. Uh, so uh, it's just a matter of staying aware, though. You know, the control drama is trying to get energy from other people by hook or crook, passively or aggressively. And uh, it's designed to make us feel good about ourselves momentarily or to defend ourselves against someone trying to lower our energy. But the, there's, 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 there's an unlimited supply of energy through an open heart. And that's what, uh, that's what our goals are. So thank you so much for spreading the word about this. Uh, the larger we can get, the better. Uh, remember uh, uh, what we're doing at CellSeamVision.com uh, uh, in the CellSeam Prophecy uh, uh, community. You know, I have a class going on there right now on uh, if you really want to move forward and talk about this and keep it in mind, uh, it takes a community. There are other communities out there. Um, but this one may speak to you around the uh, Celsian concepts. Uh, we also have um, uh, other resources there for you. Uh, but I think that most important thing we all do is spread this consciousness uh, and get into a place where we can hold it more and more of the time. Uh, so thank you again for uh, being able to uh, uh, have the time to uh, uh, join in where you know, everybody's busy. Uh, thanks for taking this moment of time. I think it's very, very important in the world. We have to keep uh, spiritual reality alive, especially for the upcoming generations who are manipulated uh, the most uh, from, from many levels. Uh, I'll just say then that uh, spread the word. You know, see if you can get your friends, uh, the people that you think would know what we're talking about here, to come join us. Let's get bigger. Let's get stronger. So thank you for uh, being with us. Uh, it's great fun for me, and we'll talk to you next time.